What are we talking about today, Mark? I don't know. What are we doing? Stuffing. Like Thanksgiving stuffing? No, but Thanksgiving stuffing is the best kind of stuffing. We're talking about keyword stuffing. Oh, that type of stuffing. Uh, mm -mm. That is not the stuffing we like at all. Nope. <laughs> Keyword stuffing is bad, bad, bad. And today we're going to talk about why you shouldn't do it and why you really need to be careful when you hire certain companies to do your SEO. All right, so keyword stuffing used to work. This used to be a black hat technique that SEO companies were able to use years ago and trick the system, trick Google into ranking pages with keywords on them. So basically what you would do is create a page on your website and put a bunch of keywords into the content so that it ranked for Google. And like Mark said, this used to work back in the day, but Google is a lot smarter now and it just doesn't work anymore. And they've said it multiple times on their websites and podcasts and mm. articles that keyword stuffing is not good practice. Here's an article from Google explaining what they consider keyword stuffing. Listing phone numbers without substantial added value. So putting a bunch of different phone numbers on your site when you don't actually have those phone numbers. Next is don't have blocks of text that contain cities and states that you're trying to rank for. The next thing is repeating the same words or phrases on a page so that it sounds unnatural. So the example that they give is, we sell custom cigar humidors. Our custom cigar humidors are handmade. If you're thinking of buying a custom cigar humidor, please contact our custom cigar humidor specialist at custom.cigar.humidors at example.com. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Way too many words on that. A lot of people think that they can rank in Google by creating a bunch of pages and a bunch of links for specific keywords. While that used to work before, Google is much more sophisticated now and these techniques just don't work anymore. You can see in this example, all these different pages for specific keywords, but are people actually searching for those keywords? Probably not. And in this example, there's all these different locations to offices that probably don't actually exist. You can put in really popular cities and try to rank for those keywords, but if you don't actually have an office in that location, Google can find out and they're not going to rank you. Here's what Google's John Mueller says about irrelevant links on your website. What matters the most? The number of unique referral backlink domains or the total number of backlinks? Uh, so I don't think we differentiate like that in our system. So from my point of view, I, I would tend not to focus on kind of the the total number of links to your site or the, the total number of domain links to your website, because we look at links in, very, uh, in, a, in a very different way. And we try to understand what is relevant for a website, how, how much should we weigh these individual links. And the total number doesn't matter at all, because you can go off and create millions of links across millions of websites if you wanted to, and we could just ignore them all. Or there could be one really good link from one website out there that is, for us, a like, really important sign that we should tr treat this website uh, as something that is relevant because it has that one link. I don't know, maybe from like a big news site's homepage, for example. So the total number essentially is, is completely irrelevant. We don't want you to get ripped off, so be very careful about who you hire to do SEO or online marketing. And if you have hired somebody that is practicing these old school techniques, you should fire them immediately because they can actually end up hurting you more than they are helping you. Yeah, and make sure that you delete any of these sort of links if they did add it to your website. That's really important. But you gotta remember, you need to create content for users, not for Google and the search bots. You need to quality. create quality content, yes. <laughs> quality over quantity. That's what Google wants. And they said it right in this article that they don't want you to do keyword stuffing. It's irrelevant and it's not going to help you at all. If you're interested in learning more about SEO, check out this video right here called SEO for Small Businesses. We're giving three tips for you to rank in Google the real way, not the black hat shady way.